About two and a half months ago, we were talking about praying for our nation because an election was going on. How often have we prayed for our nation since then? Hopefully, every day. In a couple days, well, no, actually tomorrow, there's going to be an inauguration of a new president. Not as a desperate measure, but with full sincerity, let's pray. Let's make sure that we spend this day in conscious awareness of the fact that God is the one who's in control, but yet to pray for the authorities as we have been instructed with the way things are going, with all of the uh, unrest, the, 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 the insurrection that they're calling it at the, um, in the Congress, in the, you know, with, you know what I'm talking about, with all this unrest that's going on, one thing that we can do long distance is we can pray. And it, in my opinion, and hopefully in your opinion as well, that prayer is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, um, avenue that we have as citizens of the United States. When it came to the election, we had, at, a, at our church, we had a 24-hour um, prayer chain. We, we're not going to organize something like that, but prayer right now is no less optimal. It is just as valuable and just as essential, just as important. So please make sure that you get on your knees, as they say, and fight like Americans. Um, make sure that you take these days before the Lord and entrust them to him. That's all. Just a little reminder, a little encouragement. I will heed my own words and I will pray. I'll pray for this government and I'll pray for God's hand to bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her. Through the night with the light from above. That song itself is a prayer. It's not an order. God bless America. It's a request. God, please bless America. So I hope that in the next couple of days, you will, and beyond, but definitely in the next couple of days, you will join me in praying for America. <laughs>